Hello everyone, I am Professor Arunashish Chakraborty from the Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I welcome you all in this course on reliability based structural design. Normally design is covered in the third year curriculum of UG course. There we learn concrete and steel design and in that process we consider different variables. For example, if we design a concrete cross section of a beam, we get certain guidelines from our design code which is IS 456-2000. If you consider the depth of neutral axis, you can use this formula and on the right hand side you have two variables Fy and Fck which represents the strength of steel and concrete. Then using this information, we find out the ultimate moment of resistance for this section. However, from our experience, we know that these variables Although we consider deterministic in our design process, but in reality they deviate from the value that we consider within this design framework. In fact, our codal provision says that we should accept FCK values when not more than 5 percent of the test results fall below this specified limit. Not only that, if we use this FCK value and estimate the Young's modulus of concrete, the code indicates that there may be a plus minus 20 percent variation. So, when we construct a structure, we cast concrete cubes and then test it. From there, we get the distribution of the concrete strength and we identify which value we should use. So, we get these kind of distributions when we estimate capacity and demand. However, in the deterministic design that we learn in UG curriculum, we try to estimate a factor of safety which is a non-dimensional number and through that we try to ensure safety and serviceability of the structure. Now, in reality, due to this variation of different variables involved in the design process, our design framework should consider this uncertainty which is always present in reality. In this course, we will try to bridge that gap so that we can bring in uncertainty within this design framework specified within our codal provision. Now, from our experience, we have seen that the structure which is designed using factor of safety more than one, they also experience failure when they are exposed to actual load cases. So, we use two terms capacity and demand and so long our capacity is more than the demand, we conclude that our design is safe. However, because of this variation, there may be a possibility where you can see the capacity can go below the demand and that is the reason even for some structures which are designed in deterministic framework with factor of safety more than 1, experience failure when exposed to actual loading condition. So, this motivates us to investigate how to extend the factor of safety based design from the deterministic framework considering uncertainty and thereby ensure the safety and serviceability. The reason is the uncertainty that is always present is unavoidable and hence we have to consider them within the design framework. Now, uncertainty can be of different type which may be quantified in statistical terms or sometimes it also originates due to lack of knowledge. Now, in this course, we will try to incorporate the uncertainties which can be quantified using statistical terms within the design framework and this actually motivates us to take this course. Now, let us quickly go through the topics that we will cover in this course. So, we will start with the theory of probability, we will describe random variables and then functions of random variables, algebra of variance and different other mathematical models for theory of probability. Then we will move over to level 2 reliability analysis, where we will first define reliability index as proposed by Cornell and also Hassofer Lind and then we will study mean value first order second moment method and first order reliability methods. Once we complete level 2 reliability analysis, then we will discuss isoprobabilistic transformation. There we will discuss Morgenstern and Nuttoff model and also 
Rosen blood transformation. Then we will discuss second order reliability methods, where we will discuss two different models, one proposed by Breitung, another proposed by Wett, and then we will discuss simulation based reliability in fourth module. There we will talk about Monte Carlo simulations and different advanced simulation techniques. In the fifth module, we discuss implicit performance function, where we will learn response surface method, moving least square methods and then its application. Then we will discuss code calibration, where we will talk about partial safety factors and how to derive optimal safety factors that we often see in our codal provisions. In the final module, we will talk about FEM for reliability analysis and at the end introduction to stochastic FEM. Now, in this 12 weeks course, we will have 30 plus hours of lectures covering different mathematical models and its application. In every module, we will solve some problem and at the end of every week, we will have assignments so that you get hands on experience on how to apply those theories to solve problems. Because our major emphasis on the modeling and its application, this course is dedicated for postgraduate students and research scholars who wish to take this subject for their thesis work. It is also helpful for final year UG students and the practicing engineers. With that brief introduction, I again welcome you all in this course and I hope this 12 weeks journey will be exciting and we will learn mathematical models for reliability based structural designs. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.